Welcome to the Como Blitzball semifinals. We have the two seated steamrollers versus the three seated riptides. 10 to three, last time we played this team. They, they kicked our butts, but we're better than them and we know it. Riptides are not gonna get a hit this game because they're bad. Every single pitch is important. One pitch at a time. We're gonna beat this team. We're gonna go to the World Series. Tied on three. One, two, three. Tied. Check the score from the last game. For the Riptides rocking with their normal lineup, Hudson Borgmeyer in the leadoff, Trent Severino in the two slot, Quinn Myers, and then Josh Bradley to round it out. And the starting pitcher, as expected for the Steamrollers, Joey DeMeo. Hey, nothing matters until now. The first pitch on the way from him is a ground ball left side. Hudson is there and safe. First pitch of the game. First pitch of the game. And Hudson will have himself a single to start off the game. Now we got the jitters out. I'm not doing that again. Big swing and a miss on the screwball for strike one. Big shot! Trent Severino! A two-run bomb of a Joey DeMeo here in game one. And that thing is never coming back. Over the fence, over the hill. That's a start! Guess we don't have to do anything. Relocate our mind, bring the front to the back. Oh, Lord. His longest homer of the season. Two-run shot to start off tonight's game one. I love you. I love you. This is a hug moment. <laughs> We're a home team, bro. Outside pipe, strike one. And it's probably also because... Slider inside pipe for strike two. The full count delivery here from Joey. Got it! That'll be Joey's first out. That'll be huge for Joey. In play! Joey throws it to first, and Josh will be out. Good play there on the mound by Joey. We got it out! <laughs> just like naturally, the adrenaline just like comes up, up, up. First out, whew. up, up, up. Second out. Woo. Yo, look at the sky right now. I just want to point that out. Look at the moon. Holy. Run that. Put, the, put it in play. Back to Joey. And he is out. What a play. Even with the bobble, Joey able to recoup, make the throw. Three outs. By Trent Severino, will give them the lead. To lead off will be their captain, Joey DeMeo, and the two-hole Matt Foster, one of the best hitters this season. And the three will be DJ Baker and Caden Stauffer, the rookie, will round it out for the steamrollers. And as for the Riptides, Trent Severino getting the nod to start. One of the top three pitchers in the league this season. Great pitch. Off the handle, running it out, and out at first is Joey, the play made. Good play, boys, good play. To start the game, that one right back to Trent. Matt Foster up, he's tied for first in homers in the league with Sammy Reeser with five. First pitch off speed for strike one. The pause, the pitch, strike three. Two straight outs. Trent playing around with the timing there. And now Hudson will be in for relief for the Riptides. Hey, no other guy we want than you, except for Trent, but you get the point. Swing and miss on the high fastball. Now going into inning number two, Riptide still got their 2-0 lead. Into the game for the steamrollers, Matt Foster. Playing in cleats for the first time. It's weird. It's weird, man. Been used to these tennis shoes. Let's go. I, I feel comfortable with Matt. Walks him. Trent will be on first. Back to back walks. The last time these two teams faced off, was at the very beginning of the season, and the Riptides are looking for a little bit of payback. Just like that. The bases are loaded on three straight walks. No mound meeting, you're good? All right, let's go. Hey, channel it. What a great night for some Blitzball. Speaking of Blitzball, buy the jersey. Come on Blitzball.com. Buy a Severino jersey. Support your local Riptides. Do it. Popped up. Back to Matt Foster. Catch is made. Trent made it seem like he was possibly going to make a run to home. Is that one? 
I was trying to ask Joey, but he was like making a frowny face. No, He's being a poopy. Big hack at the first pitch for strike one. Oh, the knuckle drop! He lands it. That's the signature pitch for Matt Foster. If he can find that tonight in this series, it can look a lot better for the steamroller's chances. Did not expect you to throw that fish. Let's go, baby. If he's going to land one of those, might as well let him have it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, got him. Quinn's ducking. He's scared of the ball, but it just drops into the strike zone. What are we doing? Not a Blitzball Pro moment from Quinn. One strike away from getting out of the jam for Matt Foster. Strike three. Hey, we needed that. We needed that. Let's go, baby. Let's go. He was forced to throw strikes with the bases loaded. He attacked batters and it paid off. He throws himself under the bus for a little bit, then all of a sudden he's like, his stock's up. I love Matt. Matt's such a nice guy. If they're loading the bases that early, it's a good sign for us. Yeah. Hudson Borgmeyer still in for the Riptides. First pitch, ball one. Walks him. Richie Jenkerson draws a walk. This is it. This is time to tie it. This is time to tie it. Great pitch. The full count from Hudson. Inside. Back-to-back -back walks to start the inning. The Riptides are keeping in Hudson Borgmeyer. Trent is eligible at this point. Two runners on to Matt Foster. The full count delivery from Hudson. Got him! Get him! Yes! Hudson only needs one out left, and Trey can pitch the rest of this ball game. Ball one. Oh, right at Josh Bradley! Off his face! DJ Baker! And he is. What's the call on the field? After review, Hudson was able to dive and touch the base before DJ's foot hit first. That will be the second out. Oh! Thought it was going to be a ground ball, and that's why I started running. And then I, it, I, I just watched it hit him in the freaking face, pretty much. <laughs> hey, where to body it up? And Trent Severino back in for the Riptides to face Richie Jenkerson. First pitch, strike one. Hey, get in there. Let's go. Come on, man. Two strikes to Richie. Rising slider, strike three, what a pitch! That's disgusting. And we're going into the third inning. I made the weirdest noise ever on that pitch. I kind of liked it. The pitching duo of Hudson and Trent is looking amazing so far tonight. I didn't get any throws. Joey, let me see one of those balls really quick. Just kidding, I don't want it. We're here in the final inning, the third inning, and Joey DeMeo back on the bump. In the air, popped, and a right, and it does fall. Josh Bradley, a ball in the right field, and Josh Bradley on first. Make a play. Josh. Josh. Ah. Let's take advantage of it. Let's take advantage of it. Here we go. Ball in the dirt. Two runners on for the Riptides. Dude, that ball hit the Josh here was smoked. <laughs> it was smoked. Same. Strike. That's how you start. That's how you start, Joe. Joey. I don't know why I call him Joe. Oh, foul. Just foul. Is that one by Trent? That got out. <laughs> That got out in a hurry. Oh, oh my goodness. Got him to fish for it. Trent strikes out for the first out. Strike one. Second in the at bat. Bases now loaded. Strike three. Outside pipe. Two outs. Steamroll is doing everything they can to keep it a two-run deficit. They only have one more chance in the bottom half of the frame. Strike number two. 0-2 oh, two count to Hudson with two outs. Strike three. He was looking for off speed. Joey threw the fastball. And now the Steamrollers are going to have a chance to do it here in the bottom of the third. 2-0 lead for the Riptides. Trent Severino 
will begin for the full third inning. Steamrollers in need of two runs, and that one's a ground ball back to Trent. Throws it to first, and the out is made. Routine play for the Riptides, and out number one, two away. Two more outs, we win game one. We're going to game two, it's, it's wraps. Slider, what a pitch there. Full count pitch on the way from Trent to Matt. Misses, and a runner on first with the Steamrollers. They needed at least one base runner, because now one swing can tie it up. Slider, swings through it for strike one. What a pitch, screwball. Two outs, and it's gonna come down to Caden Stauffer. The rookie is getting the nod for this at bat. Two very different seasons for both these teams last year. The Steamrollers are looking for their third straight World Series appearance, while this is the Riptide's first ever playoff appearance. And Riptide's looking good here in game one. Second hit of the at bat that is huge for the Steamrollers. And now it's the captain, Joey DeMeo, back up. A home run here would walk it off and win game one. First pitch, the pause. Strike one. The pause, the hop, strike number two. Full count, two runners on, two outs. The wind up, the pitch. Oh, and he misses. It's going to come down to Matt Foster, who's been the best batter for the Steamrollers this season. I got to get home. Any hit, I got to get home. You have two at-bats to work with. Yeah. And worst case scenario, you walk oh, them. It's DJ it auto DJ. out. Hey. I thought it was Hacker. DJ. Hey, yeah, if, ball, I mean, if balls hit, you go cover. Trent can go cover. Because okay. if a balls passes, because that means there'll be time for Trent to go. Play. Yeah, no. Anything at all, I have to score. And he has seen a lot of Trent Severino over the years in KCBL. Big swing at the rising slider. One and one. In the biggest moment of Trent's come a blitzball career. Oh, and play, that's a fair ball! No. One run scores! Kane no. Stone for coming in! No. Two run score! Tie ball game! But the out is made! It is tied! Okay, let's go. Let's go, Matt! Uh oh, that's fine. That's fine. A base running error. We're going into extras in game one. What a way to end it. What a hit by Matt, though, to give them a tie ball game. Caden Stoffer was on his horse or his train, you could say, for the steamrollers. Makes it home and ties up the ball game. These two teams so evenly matched, both three and two on the year. Haven't played since their first game of the season and an absolute classic here in game one. I want to rob a home run. In the air to center field. God, two run shot. Trent Severino comes through yet again. His second home run of the game. Four to two. That was terrible timing. That was such bad timing. We're not losing. We're not losing. Trent Severino takes a fastball way out of here. Four to two. Here in the fourth inning. Extra innings of game one. What a crazy turn of events for these two teams. The Riptides are back up by two. With the extra inning rules, there was a runner on second and one out to start the inning. And a curveball freezes Quinn for strike one. Great pitch. Strike three. Hey, that's a good pitch. Tip your cap. Tip your cap. Here an extra starting with one out, and that is out number two. Ball six. Runner on first for the Riptides. Trying to get a little bit of extra insurance runs for the bottom of the fourth. Good pitch, bottom pipe. Whoa! A step out cutter. I don't even know what that was. Maybe a shaker. Well, a little sum sum there. For the third out, the steamrollers are in need of two runs. Can they do it again? Any ball put in play, just go home. Yeah. 
start it, DJ. The Steamrollers have put Caden Stauffer on second, their fastest guy on the bases. The hop, strike number two. Two-two count. Rising slider gets him. Yep, yep, yep. I just want to give you some knocks on that slider. <laughs> One out away are the Riptide. It's coming down to the rookie, Caden Stauffer. Last time in this spot, he drew a walk. Yep. Outside pipe, strike one. Strike number two, big swing from Caden Stauffer. The three, two delivery from Trent Severino. Got it! Go! Screwball hits the middle of the zone, and Trent Severino put his stamp on the game one. Almost single-handedly won that by himself. Job not finished. And the Riptides are up 1-0 in the series. Steamrollers are gonna have to come back and win games two and three to get to the World Series. Riptides one win away from a World Series trip. We'll see you in the next game. Not done yet. Protein bar break.